you're going to want to talk about your transmission dipstick. Now note with the oil, you check with the, the engine off. With your transmission dipstick, you check while the engine is running. You state that. Okay? Uh, the other components that you're going to be naming are you're going to be naming your, just say your engine is secure, not cracked or broken, your oil cap, secure, not cracked or broken, properly fastened. Is that properly fastened? What, the oil cap right now? Yeah, got a little bit of gap here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's properly fastened. That's just the way it is. Uh, you're going to want to state your power steering, your power steering caps, your power steering hoses. Make sure you get that. Uh, you're going to want to state your hoses, all your hoses, any hoses. You can say your fuel filter right here. Secure, not cracked or broken, no leaks. Remember, anything with fluids, you have to say no leaks. Oh, so. Yeah. Or, or air, exactly. So that's going to be with your power steering. You're going to say that. You're going to say that with your your fuel and any Wait, oil hoses say, or anything like that. No air. No, he's saying anything that has air going oh, through okay. it. Pretty so much if you have your airlines, lines, your no brake lines there. and stuff, no you got to say no leaks because air can leak out of them. Okay. So you're going to say all these things. You're going to mention your fuse box. My fuse box, secure not cracked or broken. Extra fuses. You want to say this in the engine, but you're going to have to say it in the interior again because a lot of people got marked off because they only said it in the engine, but you want to say your extra fuses in the interior when you're, you're talking about your triangles, your emergency safety triangles, triangles, your safety yeah. triangles, your uh, your fuses, and your fire extinguisher. You don't have to pull them out, do you, when you're on the end cap? No. Just no, tell them. You don't have to pull them out. You just have to say that they're present. Because there's some yeah. trucks, the older trucks, actually have the fuse box inside the cap. These ones don't. These ones have them in the engine compartment. But some of these older ones, the O1, like Charlie's, I think has it in the cab. Okay. So you just name the, you know, those little components. And then what you do is you walk around to the passenger side. Start at the top. Highest thing is your coolant reservoir. So you say your coolant secure, not cracked or broken, no leaks. Cap is properly fastened. Then you move on down. Yeah, Charlie's fuse box is in the cab. It's on the passenger side, along the fire wall. Yeah, that's why you got to do it. You move on down. You got to make sure you have your windshield wiper fluid, uh, reservoir you secure, not cracked or broken, no leaks. Cap is properly fastened. Then you name the alternator. Your alternator secure, <clears throat> not cracked or broken, uh, no illegal welds. To say that all hardware present. Uh, the wires. The alternator wires, you have to mention those separate. And this is this is the thing right here. Your alternator is belt driven, your water pumps belt driven, your power power steering belt driven. So these are the components that you're gonna have to always say that the belt. Now Dave, what what was the uh, tension on the belt again? You could have no more than no less than no, half an inch of clay. No uh, no, yeah, no more than. No more, no than, more than, than. No more than one quarter inch play, I think it is. Quarter, quarter inch, inch play. Yeah, that's that's something that's slightly okay, simple. Good, good. But you're going to want to mention your belt. As soon as you say that, you know, this is my serpentine, <laughs> serpentine <laughs> accessory belt. You can call it whatever you want. It has no, you know, secure, not cracked or broken, no phrase. Uh, no more than uh, one fourth inch of slack. I think that's what it was. But you have to say that because the thing is, if you miss that belt, they're not going to give you for anything that that is belt driven. So they're going. You're not going to get your alternator. You're not going to get your water pump. You know. So you're going to want to say when you say that belt, you name all the components right then that go to that belt. It's easier for you to remember. So you start with your alternator, then you say your my water pump is belt driven. Uh, secure not cracked or broken, no leaks. Bam, you move on. You know, my power steering, it was, you know, then you want to say your air compressor. This is the thing about that. Now, the air compressor, you can't see. You know, what I did was, you know, I just pointed towards, it's off there. You know, blocked your vision. He's sitting right here. So, you know, I'm just like, yeah, my air compressor. 
it's belt driven, secure, not cracked or broken. Perfect. You know, okay, moving yeah. on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, you're controlling the show. Remember it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you have to keep up the pace and, you know, you keep on moving. So those so, are the components that are on over here. Just this, your coolant reservoir, your, uh, pow, uh, your uh, windshield, windshield wiper, wiper fluid. fluid, your alternator, the belt, water pump. And the compressor is belt driven as well. Yes. The compressor <coughs> is belt driven. Then after that, you're perfectly fine on this side. You know, no radiator. People, you know, mm -mm. you don't have to name the radiator. And that's the funny thing. I named it, you know, I, you know, you can fan shroud, fan, all that. You don't even need to. DMV is not even concerned with it. So I'm not going to even tell you. And even the evaporator either? Air dryer. Air dryer. Air dryer. Nope. They didn't, you know, I named it Secure Not Cracked Broken. If you want, if it makes you feel better, you can just Secure Not Cracked Broken as an air dryer. Man, Boom. Keep on moving. Done. You, know, you control the show. Remember. <coughs> then once you come back over here, the, the, Three fourths. Three fourths. Okay. No more than th no more than three fourths inch play on your belt. Okay. Check the following belts for snugness: up to three fourths inch play at the center of belt, cracks or frays. Power steering belt, the water pump belt, alternator belt, air compressor belt. Bam. But this is a serpentine belt, components. so it covers everything. I mean, serpentine is one belt. One belt that, that does, does all components. You know what I'm saying? So those are the four components. So remember those, and make sure that you say the belt with them. These are belt driven. The four components, the uh, alternator, the power steering, the uh, water pump, the water pump, pump air compressor. and air compressor. Okay. Remember, in the air compressor, you just wind to the back of the motor. Oh, yeah, you can't see it's it. It's there. It's there, okay? So we got those four components. Now, when you come back to this side, the only thing you should be thinking about now is your, your steering components and your braking components. And from there, you go down and back towards the back of the vehicle. So the way I did it was, <coughs> I said my uh, my steering linkage, secure, not cracked or broken, no illegal wells, which is this. You know, your steering knuckle and everything right here, steering linkage, y'all see it? Yeah. Okay, so you got that. Then your steering box, which it connects to. My steering box, secure, not cracked or broken, no illegal wells or leaks, because it can leak, it has fluid. Okay, then you go down, this is your pitman arm. My pitman arm, secure, not cracked or broken, no illegal wells. I just like to say that because it's a metal component and you shouldn't have illegal wells. Really, the only thing that you really have to say about legal wells are like your uh, like drive shaft, critical components, uh, like uh, your rims. And, and stuff like that, but you won't get marked off. So it's better to be safe with sorry. In the frame. frame <clears> in the frame. frame. Exactly. Um, okay, so we have our pitman arm. We have our drag link that connects to that, which is right here. Secure, not cracked or broken. Then you go to your... I don't know, Dave, do they still do it? Castle or crown nut and cotter pin? Do they yeah, still? Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Castle nut or crown nut yep. and cotter pin? Yep. Your castle nut or your crown nut, your cotter pin, which is right there in it. Secure nut cracked or broken, not loose. You know, you can say loose because, of course, it's a nut. Um, then you have your steering arm. Your steering arm is what connects to your drag link right here. That connects. Secure nut cracked or broken. And then that basically covers all your, sus your suspension components from that point, right? So then you move right into the brakes because it's leading you right into it. It's just, the way I do it is just gonna lead you right into each step. Question, do you have to say leaf springs, U-bolts? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Good question. What I do is you start your leaf spring mounts or you can say shackles, front and back, secure not cracked or broken, no illegal welts. Your leaf springs, all are present. You can, uh, what is it? Uh, no more than one fourth of them missing. Uh, yeah, I think it was one fourth of your leaf springs missing. Uh, 
you want to say your U bolts. Look for missing, shifted, crack, or broken leaf springs. If one quarter or more missing yeah. or broken, it will put the vehicle out of service. No more than one quarter. One quarter. Okay. Then you, your U bolts. You want to say your U bolts. Then you go right to so your right. Your shocks. You say my shock. And remember, with the shocks, it can leak. That's how you tell a bad shock anyway. So you want to say your, your shocks, secure not cracked or broken, no leaks. Uh, you can even say your shock mounts. You know, shock mounts, secure not cracked or broken, no leaks. Uh, and then you say your frame. You know, you can say your frame, secure not cracked or broken, uh, no illegal welds. No bends, no illegal welds. That then that concludes basically all your suspension stuff like that then you move in to your brakes you got your your brake chamber your brake air chamber secure not cracked or broken no leaks this big circle thing right here your brake lines secure not cracked or broken no leaks air leaks uh, let's see your automatic slack adjuster now, on these vehicles, these aren't automatic slack automatic adjusters. Automatic slack adjusters. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Automatic slack adjuster. On yeah. these vehicles, we don't have an automatic slack adjuster, but they don't know. So oh. it's easier for you to say that. You can, what you do is say, you know, uh, my slack adjuster, and it has no more than two inches of play. It can have no more than two inches of play. Your, uh, for manual slack adjusters, the brake push rod should not move more than one inch with the brakes released when pulled by hand. One inch? They had two inches last. Well, this is the newest one. This go, is yeah, go with the new one. But go there's also the some other type of. He said here. manual, right? Yeah. This is supposed to be automatic. But this is auto, so. so but they, they, they messed up too on the, what was it, Air 100 or something like that in the book? Yeah, they messed it up. They, they messed it up. So now in the DMV book, if you talk about your governor cut in, you know how we're taught 85, you're supposed to cut in no lo lower than 85 PSI. In the new book, they misprinted it and they had it at 100 PSI. So either way, if you go to DMV, if you, you slip up and say, man, I'm supposed to cut in at 100 or 85, either one is accepted right now because they can, made that Can you mention the misprint or whatever? I mean, you can mention it, but I mean, it's probably no no use if you mention it. Just remember 85. 85. Just do, okay. the, do the original, 85, and you'll be good. Um, uh, let's see. Back to uh, right, slack adjusters. Right. Then you have your push rod. Brake chamber. Your brake push rods here not cracked or broken. Um, <coughs> your your uh, brake bracket secure not cracked or broken. And then you move in. From there, you move all the way into your rim. Now on these vehicles, they don't have this. There's no disc brakes and there's no uh, brake pads because those go with discs. So you, you're dealing with brake drums and shoes. So remember you got the term, term right because another thing that'll get you too is if you say gas, my gas right. tank. Fuel. So on, this, this, this thing don't run on gas. <laughs> it runs on diesel fuel. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you have the terms right. So you come in here. You say my brake drum, secure, not cracked or broken, no illegal welds, no grease or any debris. You can say that just to be extra safe. Um, my brake shoes, secure, not cracked or broken, no uh, oil, nothing to cause them to uh, Slip. not break properly. Okay? Then you say your rim, my, my rim, secure, not cracked or broken, no illegal welds. You're working all the way back up, and when you go, then you start doing your sidewalls of your tire, because you're doing your, your, your tires now. So you say your tires, both my sidewalls, smooth, no bubbles, no defects, secure, not cracked or broken, no leaks. Then you move to the top of your tire, your tread. Um, you want to say your tread is even. In the front, we got to have four 30 seconds or better of tread depth. So remember, 4.30 seconds in the front. You gotta have that. Um, 
no retreads, no mismatched tires. You guys understand that? Four thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you have to have more meat on the front because they're the steering tires. Okay, the rear ones you can get away because they're just push tires. But these are your steering ones, so you need more traction. So in the back, it's only two thirty seconds that you have to have legally. In the front, you got to have four thirty seconds. So just remember that. Um, yeah, even tread, whatever. So we did, took care of the sidewalls, we took care of the top of the tread, the top of the tire, all the suspension, the brake components. Then you move to the outside. Now it's the e easier you come down, you do your lug nuts. You know, the lug nuts, secure nut crack, they're broken, no shininess present, no, uh, no signs of looseness. Okay, then you go on, you do your, uh, what was that? Is that the hubs? The hub. the hub seal. The hub seal. You can say yeah. the wet hub. Yeah. The wet hub is the properly hub. filled and not leaking. Yep. Properly filled, not leaking. You can even go as far as to say you're, you know, you have to talk about your, your inflation. Oh. So I would be like, you know, my tires are properly inflated. The way I would check is with a pro uh, with a, a rubber mallet. You can boom, boom with a rubber mallet or with a properly cal calibrated tire gauge. You know. You say that. So you want to say that, you know, those are your tires. Two options. You're not going to get credit when you say, I'll check it with a mallet or a tire. Your time. Not, you can only beat yourself, man. Take your time, you know. So you go here, you get my mirror, secure that cracker broken, uh, properly adjusted and clean. Uh, my mirror is uh, properly attached to the bracket. The bracket is properly attached to the door. Secure not cracked or broken. You can say it as many times as you want. Secure not cracked or broken. Beat it into them. Whatever. Open your door from there. My door. Slam it. Secure not cracked or broken. Properly seals. Uh, then you have your stairs and your fuel tank. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you go my stairs, you know, secure not cracked or broken. No illegal wheels, you can say that. My uh, my fuel tank, secure that crack and broken, and, and cap, properly fastened, no illegal welds. I would say the fuel straps too, my, 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 my fuel tank straps, uh, secure that crack and broken. My DEF fuel, uh, same thing, secure that crack and broken, no leaks, cap properly fastened. All right, uh, from there, you move along, you just take side steps. Now, um, the way I did it, I lifted a bay door because this is part of our inspection. Because remember, they're doing lots of trucks, and all of them are in different, you know, for different trucks, descriptions. They got different flatbeds, yeah, exactly. they got these. Different purposes that you're going to use these trucks. So, ours, bay door. So, lift one of your bay doors. My bay door secure not cut properly working you have your in these vehicles most most vehicles they're, they're on the outside your air tanks your primary and your secondary air tank is up there so that's what I did to make them feel more comfortable like you know what you're doing because it is your show you just point it you know hey my primary and secondary air tanks are up here in this vehicle they're uh, secure not cracked or broken with no leaks also the air hoses no leaks Okay, bam. Shut your, shut your bay door. Then you look up and look down. Now on this, this truck has been beat to hell, so it doesn't have no lights at the top. <laughs> but you're gonna want to talk about your side reflectors. You know my my side reflectors. They're amber in color. The present secure, not cracked or broken. You're, you would be talking about your ID lights at the top. You would name. Always name the color because it's, it's specific for, you know, the front and back of vehicle and everything else. So you want to say the amber, you know, whatever, secure that cracker broken clear properly. Amber to the work. front, red and clear to the back. the back. You can't have amber in the back. And, uh, you know, you'll have to do, deal with nothing else until you get down to this tire. After that point, you come back to your back tire, and here's the thing. When you get to the back tire, you don't have to redo everything, everything that you've done in the front. You just come to the back and say, hey, 
you know, I would inspect the rear uh, tire rim suspension components the same as I did the front with a few exceptions. All right, so that gives you room to name a few different things. Now, of course, in the back, we have dual tires. So you want to say there's no debris or anything sticking between the tires, binding or bubbles. The tires are not touching. Secure neck wrapper broken, you know, whatever. Remember, the different thing is you have an axle seal in the back. So you're going to say, my axle seal, secure neck wrapper broken, no leaks. Okay? So that's different. Your axle seal, you got your dually tires. Now remember, in the back, you're going to say, my tire tread in the back can be 230 seconds. You know, it's not the same as the front. So you don't want, because if you would, would relieve that out, they would have thought that you had 430 seconds. You, you know, you could have up to 430. No, it's 230 seconds in the back. Okay? You have, uh, you have airbags in the back, right here. If y'all want to look, I mean, you know, but you have airbags in the back, so you want to say, my airbags are secure, not cracked or broken, properly mounted, no leaks, because they're airbags, they can leak. Um, this is the perfect time right now, because you can look through here and see your drive shaft. So you want to mention your drive shaft there. My drive shaft is secure, not cracked or broken, no leaks. And remember, now that this is something that came up, when people were taking the test, they were really tripping off of uh, debris being wrapped around the drive shaft because it can snake something, you know. So you want to say there's nothing wrapped around the drive shaft. It clear of debris. Clear of debris, spins freely, you know. Clear debris, spins freely. Suspension component in the back that's different is you have a torque arm, you know. You just point that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when in doubt, just point with confidence. You know what I'm saying? Just bow. You know, yeah, my you torque arm, secure, not cracked or broken. Uh, you know, you don't have to say no leaks. You can say no illegal wells if you want. Okay. Yeah, be careful what you say. Ryan got hit by leaf springs, secure, not cracked, not broken, no leaks. And they asked him, your leaf springs leak? Uh, they yeah. asked him that. Yeah. So just think about the component, you know, when you say it. But I know you get into repetition and things, but you know, make think, sure you think know, about the hell you saying too. Yeah. Okay. And remember, not every inspector will hit you like that, but there's gonna be that one that that's one. gonna. There's some, you that, know, know, there's so. some that are like super cool. You yeah, if you get kidding, you know, turn on the lights and talk about the lights. When you walk and you do the door, you can actually have them tell the inspector, "Hey, I'm about to test the lights in the back." like my brake lights and everything, will you step to the back of the vehicle? Because he'll come back here and you can just hit the brake one time, show him that the brake lights is working, he'll write it off. Boom, okay, that's cool, boom. You now know? you do that on the end cab or you do that right now? Really, what I'm saying is, it's, it's probably easier while you're out here because y'all both are outside the vehicle. So when you come to that door, right at that step where I was showing you, the, after the mirror, you do the door. Tank, door, and all that yep. stuff. Then you could just hop in there. real quick and just be like, can you step out? I'm about to just check that, you know, I already did the front lights and showed you the front lights. Can you come to the back so I can show you that the, the, the brake lights work and the uh, four-way flashers, you know what I'm saying, so we can look at all that. Once he comes back there, you know, you hop out because there wasn't really much after you, do, you know, you do the tires, you come back. Once you got all your lights done over here, you can say your, once again, this is specific to our vehicle, you know, you can say that, hey, my hand cart uh, rack, or cage. rack or cage or bracket is secure, you know, secure, not cracked or broken, uh, whatever. But then after that, you come over here and your passenger side, you just say to them, hey, I would inspect every component in the rear, the same as I did as the driver rear. I would, you know, then I would come to the front and I would say, I would inspect everything the same as I did on the driver's side with the exception of one thing. Because everything's the same, pretty much, besides your exhaust, your smokestack. So, you know, you say, with the, with the exception of one thing, and that's your smokestack. My, my smokestack is secure, not cracked or broken, no soot, 
no carbonation, no leaks, no illegal welds. And you're pretty much, that concludes. But apparently some damage. <laughs> little <laughs> dent, that's all right. <laughs> you know, but that concludes it. You know, you're good. And remember, anytime you can sit here and say, oh, <coughs> I forgot to check the fuse box on it. Hey, while I was on that side, I would check the fuse box. I would have checked my alternator to see if the alternator, if you forgot something at any time, you can say, yeah, I forgot that. I would have checked that while I was up there. Yeah. Okay, it's Take not over time. till you it's say it. It's your show. Yep. It's your show. You can always add something, you know. But once you tell them that you are complete or it concludes anything, that's the end.